everybody, welcome back to part two of my video. Okay, so we've got our platinum group metals out of our barrel from all our catalytic converters. You can see I filtered it and let it sit. All right, so now the next step is getting this all separated. All right, we're just gonna take our hydrochloric acid, add in about 500 milliliters, something like that. Do this out here. All right, I'm gonna give it a little bit of heat. All right, we're gonna add in our stir bar. All right, perfect. All right, now we got 12% hydrogen peroxide. Okay, we'll let that react. Take a look at it in just a few minutes. Okay, I don't really see too many more particles floating around in there. So just to be sure that I got platinum group metals in solution, we'll give it a quick stannous chloride test. See, we got a really dark solution already, but uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, definitely got a reaction. You can see it turning dark and you see the orange color over there. So this is loaded with palladium and probably platinum as well. But it looks like we're gonna be heavy on the palladium, which is good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the stir off and let this cool. And while that filters out, I'm going to go ahead and set up for the palladium. What I've got here is a chlorine tablet that I masked up. I'm going to put it in this for whenever we uh, precipitate out our palladium with chlorine gas.
All right, first thing we're going to do is drop out the plat the platinum. Try to keep this as concentrated as possible. All right, what we got here? Some ammonium chloride. This is drop out the platinum. We're going to make a heavy concentrated mix. <laughs> now you got to remember water will re-dissolve platinum salt. So I have another thing made up here with ammonium chloride and some distilled water. This is what I'll be using to rinse the platinum out with. Can't use just regular water. It's going to get extremely cold. It's already extremely cold. Give it a little time to start seeing some orange salt settle out on the bottom. Yeah, I really did not see a whole lot precipitate out of there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the filter and see if it caught anything. So there ended up being a little bit of precipitate down at the bottom. It wasn't very much. I was a little surprised about that, but uh, hopefully it was just uh, extra loaded with palladium. And uh, so hopefully we get a lot uh, when we precipitate it out with our fluorine gas. All right, we'll be moving over to the fume hood and do that part next. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go for our palladium. All right, so I got my flask up here full of hydrochloric acid. It's gonna run down. I uh, come onto this pile of this chlorine tablet that I bashed up and that's going to create the chlorine gas It's going to come in and bubble out the palladium in our solution. Hopefully we're going to do a little bit more than the platinum and uh, let's get started. It's going to turn into a very slow drip. Slow as I can get it, just about. And it starts to see the chlorine gas pretty much immediately. Alright, there we go. Let's see whenever our first drip comes. There it goes.
This is our platinum. Not much precipitate at all. Maybe a gram? I don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is do a stainless chloride test. Just to see if we can gauge what we got left in here. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but we got a slight blackish brownish color. So I'm pretty convinced there's still some platinum group metals left in here just based on the color. So what I'm going to do, normally I would try to precipitate out the rhodium with potassium hydroxide. But I'm not positive what all we got left in here. Could be some iridium, but I'm just not sure. So what I'm going to do with the rest of it is just precipitate out anything that's left in solution using aluminum foil. So we got a vigorous reaction started right out of the gate. I'm going to turn on my fume hood. That reacted very violently right away. I'm just going to keep adding this until I don't get a reaction anymore. Aluminum foil is a lot cheaper than potassium hydroxide. What I'm probably going to end up doing is just melting whatever precipitates out of here into a button. And I might just send it all to a refiner and uh, see what they credit me with. Hopefully it's mostly rhodium. That would be awesome.
Okay, so that's going to conclude our video from the Platinum Group Metals from the Catalytic Converters. As you see, we got a nice shiny button out of it. So I'm not exactly sure what happened uh, during my separation. So I got very little, I mean, minuscule amounts of platinum and just a very little bit of palladium. I was definitely expecting a lot more palladium. When I precipitated everything out with the aluminum foil, I just got a ton of material. So I'm, what I did during the melt is I just went ahead and melted everything that I had together. Uh, so it was a failure at separating all of them. However, I am certain of it that I got all the metal out of there. So this is all combined into one button. This is a mixture of platinum, palladium, and rhodium for sure. Um, yeah, so I'm just really glad I got all the metal. I might try to separate it on a later date, but uh, for right now, let's just go ahead and see what we got. All right, we got 9.55 grams of platinum group metals here. So if I was to send this off to a refiner, they would definitely, they would give me credit for at least the platinum and palladium. I would hope the rhodium too. But uh, for right now, I'm just gonna add this to my collection. And uh, like I said, I might attempt to separate everything again on a later date. Uh, refining platinum group metals is a totally different beast than gold and silver. Uh, so I definitely did something wrong. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, see what it was. But uh, either way, I got all the metal out, so I'm pretty stoked about that. So I appreciate you watching, and thanks a lot.